What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Educated Bar for Life. Today, we got a really fun cocktail for you. Uh, it's funny because, like, today I've just been doing lots. Of, I've like planned a lot of really fun cocktails. Having a cocktail channel like this is a bit of a challenge because we put out so many cocktails, and we've pretty much gone through all the classics. That you know, I don't know. The pressure is really on to sort of bring out something that's just like super surprising. And today, I'm really happy to announce that uh, there's a couple of things happening here. A, this cocktail it looks crazy on paper. Uh, B, I have never tried it. So I'm gonna be trying it on camera for the first time. And C, it's from one of my favorite bartenders. Uh, so let's get into it. We'll talk a little bit about it. So first thing we are gonna do is just three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of orgia. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Ray and Nephew Overproof Rum. We're gonna do an ounce and a quarter of Montenegro. And you know what's really funny, Marius, is that uh, I probably should have put these in my tin before I actually did the cocktail, but we're gonna put some cucumber in there. I don't know how the, funny that was, but. Well, because you should really put that first and then you know do the muddling and everything and you know, whatever, muddle it, but I just like forgot it. Uh, we're gonna do just like three little drops of rose water. We're gonna give this a little muddle. Put our ice into our tin. Mirror our cocktail into the big tin. And give it a nice shake. Eight to 10 seconds. Ugh. What's funny is that I, uh, I always think of that sprezzatura term, you know, the, the, it's like sprezzatura is the Italian term for making something technically difficult look easy. And honestly, on that shake, I kind of feel like I did the exact opposite. We need a word, we need a word that means, possibly, hopefully in Italian, that means the act of making something technically difficult look even harder to do than it actually is. Because I feel like that is what I achieved on that shake today. All right. Prezzatura, is it, did they, is it an invented word? I mean, it's an Italian word. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming that the Italians invented it because we don't have words in the English language that actually encompass an entire idea, right? So that's one word but that represents ever, an idea. We don't have that in English. Did it ever mean something else? Or? I'm going to do this before it gets old. Um, did it ever mean anything else? I'm asking you, but you don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't think it, I don't think it did. Honestly, I think that it was a it was a made up term, but I but I don't know. And then we're just gonna float a cucumber wheel on top, and there you have it, the guardian angel. Let's take a sip. Wow, holy moly, that is fantastic. So, a couple of things about this drink that I really love. First of all, it is just a slight tweak off of a sour. It's basically a sour. You've got your orgia and your and your lime juice, right? That's what you're balancing out. The orgia is your sugar content, but you're just like a little bit savory. It's a savory sweet because you have almonds. It's made out of almonds. And then you have your lime juice. It's kind of bringing up the tart. But what I really love about this cocktail is that it is also, its main spirit is Montenegro. You have that nice Amaro. You know, Montenegro is like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like bitter, but it's like lightly bitter. It's not super, super bitter like some Amaros can be. Uh, and it really, really meshes well with the lime juice. And then you have the Ray and Nephew, right? Which is giving it that sort of Jamaican funk. Like, but it's like really clean. It's just like a really clean flavor. So it's a really crisp cocktail. And then you get that nice uh, rose water, which I gotta tell you, like, I'm not the biggest fan of rose water flavor. And rose water is really, really, really strong. So you only wanna do a couple of drops. Two, like, literally two or three small drops inside this. And you can already... I mean, you can smell it like, coming right off the cocktail. It's really, really nice. And it's just like a perfect balance of flavor. So this cocktail was created by Eric Castro sometime recently. Uh, I actually nabbed this off his Instagram. So if you want to go check him out, you can check him out at Hungry Bartender or at Bartender at Large, which is this amazing podcast that all of you guys should be listening to. So I believe that this cocktail was the 
the signature cocktail that Eric Castro created for uh, a Montenegro event that was at Genghis Cohen, which is a Chinese food restaurant down the street from my house. Uh, they have a beverage director there named Yel Vengroff, who is a fantastic, she runs a bunch of different bars. She's built a bunch of different programs. She is amazing. And uh, so she runs the program there. And then Elliot Montero, who is our friendly local Montenegro rep, uh, and Eric kind of did this event there. And this was the drink. And I remember just being so bummed because I didn't get to go. And Genghis Cohen's literally like two blocks from my house and I didn't get to go. And I remember them posting, I think it was this drink. I'm pretty sure it was this drink. I want to say it was this drink. Eric can, he can tell me that I'm wrong if I'm wrong in the comments or DM me or whatever. But uh, again, uh, this is a fantastic drink. I think you guys should just run to go make it. Don't walk, run. All right, well, there you have it, guys. The Guardian Angel by Eric Castro. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash educated barfly. Uh, we also have YouTube memberships active and we're doing some pretty cool stuff there. Check out the educatedbarfly.com for barfly merch and our virtual bottle program uh, where you can buy us a bottle and we'll shout your name out when we use it. And I'll see you guys on another time.